give you a quick introduction to how you can access the online resources that come with our textbook, The Broadview Anthology of British Literature. If you purchased a new book, uh, you will find a small card that comes with the new textbook, I would encourage you to take a picture of that card in case you lose it. That card will give you instructions here about typing in uh, the website address that you see here, and you will put in your access code. Now, for those of you that may be sharing a textbook or may have purchased one used, you may also need to purchase access for uh, these online selections. You can do that, again, through the Broadview website, and you can get uh, that for $6.95, uh, which, again, gives you a very reasonable access to uh, a lot of different resources, including some of those that you will need to read as part of our textbook. Uh, once you put in your access code, which I'll skip over here, then you'll enter into the online resources section. Remember, uh, our textbook is the um, concise volume A, so you'll want to make sure, unless you're interested in exploring beyond here and collecting and looking through some of these different selections. Um, since our class here, English 311, uh, uses the concise volume A, uh, if you click into here, you'll see uh, a number of different texts. And so you'll want to go through, these are actually organized chronologically, but you can also search. So for example, if you are assigned the general prologue from the Canterbury Tales or selections, um, the online version is the only one that comes with a modern English translation. If you click on that, uh, you will get a PDF that you can save to your computer. And if you'd like, upload it to uh, certain devices such as your laptop or tablet, uh, or you could even uh, do that to some e-readers depending on that as well. And you'll see a number of things, uh, including uh, full plays such as uh, Webster's Duchess of Malfi, a number of Shakespeare plays, Marlowe, um, a number of complete texts that aren't always included in a shorter textbook like this. Uh, and you can see here there's quite a few uh, different uh, texts available here, not all of which we're going to use this semester. Um, but there's a lot of great resources here, some of which will be functioning as part of our course textbook. If you do have questions or difficulty accessing any of these, uh, first do make sure that you've entered that code correctly and that you've saved it in a safe place. After that then, uh, feel free to check in with me and see uh, if there's something that we can sort out um, before we check in with IT to see if there's any other issues that might uh, have come up. Thanks again, and if you have questions, don't hesitate to let me know.